Wouldn't it be nice to see what Google thinks the snippet could be if the current winner was to delete their page? Let's go ahead and take a look. So I found a good example. In this one, it's um, basically is lawn bowling the same as, as bocce? And you'll see when you look that it's got a snippet itself in position one. So you know that it can have a snippet in the first place. And so now if you're going to try and figure out if you could take the snippet from it, you can actually look back at Google's uh, history um, as to who it thinks is second place, who would be third place and fourth place and so on and so forth. Technically, you could do this to look and see how far down in the chain your current snippet is if it's not winning to see where it exists in Google's belief of its quality versus the competitors. So to do this, what happens is you'll have to find a search that actually has a snippet in the first place. So if you know your own search queries, you can actually just go pop them in real quick. And um, when a uh, snippet comes up, you can actually just use Google itself to strip away the current winner to see who would be next. So in this case, you see that it's uh, seattlebowls.org. So what you can do is up here where the search keyword is, you can actually just do minus and then do C Adle bowls org. So basically you're telling it, I want to do that search query, but without seattlebowls.org existing inside the search engine ranking page. As you'll see, uh, you'll actually get a new snippet now. So you'll get now you get this snippet from the Washington Park Lawn Bowling Club. So what happens is, is it removes seattlebowls.org from the SERP itself. So now you can see this is who it believes would be the winner if the first seattlebowls.org site didn't exist as the winner or this one's maybe moving up but it gives you a chance to see who's currently second place for the snippet. So you can actually do this as many times as there is snippet. So now you can do minus Washington Park on bowlingclub.com and search again. And now what you'll see is yet another one. Now we've got bargames101.com. So now third place in this snippet is bargames101.com. Then you can keep going. So minus bargames101.com. It's also really actually is interesting if you're looking to see who your major competitors are for creating posts around your topic. This really quickly can tell you who's got data that Google actually enjoys based on a topic. So at this point, you can now know that if you were really looking at lawn bowling, you have multiple sites that rank for snippets for specifics that you could actually target immediately. So now that we add bargames101.com, oh, look, now there's jackshighbulls.com. So this is now the fourth snippet of what would be between here and first place. And you can just keep on going and going. This is really interesting, though, when you want to take a look at what you have for overall snippets. So if you were to just open Notepad, right? You got snippet one, snippet two, snippet three, snippet four. What you can do here though, is now you can grab this and now you know that snippet four and just for ease, we'll turn on word wrap. So now we can go back one and we can say, this one is snippet three. Right. Now you go back. And this is what snippet two is. And go back. And here's what snippet one is. And now if you were looking to make a new snippet, you can actually look at every one of these to try and understand what Google likes the most out of what you have. So what you can do is read all of these and take in all of the inputs and basically use that to turn around and create 
what you would believe is your winning snippet for this specific keyword. Doing this can allow you a lot better chance to win the snippet because you'll have a chance to see what Google's opinion of what's the best. So, you know, what it thinks is the best and second best and third best and fourth best and see what you can work out from between these and what you understand on the topic as to crafting something that you know will win this one, but that also beats all of these ones. And it gives you a chance to really leapfrog yourself to the top of, of, of the search engine page. And many people will still argue that people are going to read this and go on. But many people, if they're looking at this and they see this, if, if they're really intending and learning in the first place, they're going to click this to go read because this is going to give them a hint of what it is. And the intention, hopefully, is that in a snippet, can't give you can give them the answer to a specific part of a query, but that they're looking for something more than just that in the first place. Now what we'll do is do it one more time on just another one. So you've got different ones down here. So what's the difference between bocce and bowls? I've never been, I don't know what bowls is. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on this. And then I prefer to delete off these question marks because this is the actual keyword. So now with this one, you have whatever that word, pen, pen, petank, petank versus bowls, right? And it's got, I mean, a really basic snippet here. You can probably toss in another sentence and win this one right away. But we can see if there's another one, right? Big game hunters.co.uk. So, and you'll see here that immediately is the last snippet. This is the only one with a snippet at all that's targeted at that answer because this is just a normal SERP entry. So, if anyone is doing bocce and bowls, uh, you've got an easy win for a snippet here I'm assuming because there's only one other option there's only one option for a snippet and it was a pretty sad snippet okay this will be an interesting one so this one's dictionary so I mean you've got right directly from languages languages.oop.com yeah so there you go so doing what does bocce you can see that the actual winner of the snippet is bocce club piazza P pizza pizza <clears throat> but instead of it being the dictionary which I just looked because I had the Oxford here. So when you hover, then you can see down below in the bottom left that it says languages.oup.com. So what really happened is that this one wins when you remove the top dictionary answer in the first place. But then you actually see the snippet that would win if the dictionary didn't have it. But you could still do the same thing here and do the same thing. I, I wouldn't dig too far down when it's, when it's dictionary because the dictionary is going to win all the time, at least in this phrasing but you remove the bocce club pizza now you're out there isn't any other snippet there's one snippet for this that's owned by this website okay we're going to do best ballpoint pens and doesn't have a list so ballpoint pens for note taking okay so best pens for note taking what you'll see is there's a list and then this is one of those interesting Google ones that actually has a list and then another list from a different website. So what you can do here is you can look and say that's usapad.com. So if you wanted to see what it would look like if you remove this top best pens for note taking from best pen usapad.com, now you'll see there is no list whatsoever. So this is where you can use these commands inside Google's actual search to really look and see, because some of these ones were not on best. I mean, best is almost always going to be some list of stuff to sell, obviously, an affiliate link. What will happen is uh, you'll see some of these that are a list, but when you move back one, it'll be a regular snippet, and then you'll move back one, and it could be 
uh, something else, an image. Like, there's so many interesting things you can see if you look backwards through these to try and uh, see what Google is looking for. And you can see what its preference is currently. Um, I can't say that each update and each time the SERPs change, you could see different stuff because obviously there's lots of people writing blog posts. So this the, the snippets can change. But if you're targeting and trying to win a specific snippet, this is a perfect way to allow yourself to disassemble what Google believes is valuable for the snippet and what content wasn't good enough to win the snippet but places two, three, and four. And then you can take all of those pieces together and wrap them together in a tight little bow and make what is your shot at a snippet by answering and filling in all of that detail in a concise statement. If I remember right, it's 300 characters, 350 characters max, something like that. <clears throat> I haven't seen much longer than that when I look in here. So you can do that and use that. There we go. Let's see. So what you're looking at is that 267 characters. So somewhere between 250 and probably 300 characters. So you can take all of these ones, right? And your goal is to take all of them and combine them all together and make a perfect 250 to 300 word shot of what you believe is better than everything out there. And that answers the query specifically. And if you do those, this should give you a shot at winning far more of those snippets than you would otherwise win. Hopefully that helps people out. Let me know in the comments if you have anything you're interested in or if this helps you win any.